Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a South African swimmer. So today's Monday, which means we have a renovation build over here. So I'm renovating all the houses in Sims. I do not change the wall structure, but I just like renovate everything else, you know, like wood furniture and maybe stuff like fences I change up and you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's what we are doing in today's video. So the house we have here today is the Riverside Roost House in Willow Creek. Uh, the person that lives here is Eloise Heidelsticks, if that's how you pronounce it. She is an art lover, clumsy goofball and business savvy. So for this build, I decided to try and show her goofballness and her art lover side. Now, with the art lover's side, I gave her a lot of artistic aspects in this build. So, she's not, for me, she's not just an art lover, but her, she herself is an artist. So, that is the image I portrayed for her in this build. So, this build is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom build. But the way I renovated it, it ends up being one bedroom, one bathroom because the second bedroom and bathroom upstairs, I made it like an art studio. So the bathroom actually then became the, it's like a storage closet basically. So also in this build, I tried to make it look nice and modern with the, like the brown wood colors. So I used a lot of brown wood colors, some white. The theme color for the inside, I made it yellow. So there's a lot of yellow furniture. And then she is a goofball, so you'll see there's sometimes like very random objects. It's like, oh, why is that there? But yeah, that is what I was going for because she's a goofball. So there, there might be some random silly objects just out of nowhere, just there for no reason kind of vibes. Um, if you hear a noise in the background, it's my cats. I don't know what they do in there or playing or something. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, now we're in the kitchen. So you'll see the fridge I put in a long cupboard. The cupboards are, what is that, dream home decorator. So the fridge is grown together and it is functional being in the cupboard like that. The only thing I can note for you guys is if you open the fridge, like if someone opens the fridge, you will see the cupboard. You won't see the inside of the fridge. But when it's closed, it looks perfect and it is fully functional. No problems there. Right, so I'm just laying out all the clutter I'm going to use. You guys know the drill. If you've seen my previous builds, I like to lay out all the clutter I might want to use in the kitchen. And then I actually start placing it around the kitchen. So I start off with some stuff on the walls. I put the ice cream. I think it's like ice cream sprinkles or toppings by the ice cream machine. We have chopping boards on the wall. We have some knives and... Just like spoons and stuff you use like by the stove, these aprons and then just a bunch of random clutter all around. Now there is, I think it ends up being two counters that is functional for her to repair the meals on. And then there is a basin, I put a basin as well. I did not feel like she would want a dishwasher so I gave her a basin. She's gonna do her own dishes, it's not a dishwasher kind of vibes now we get to the living room part so i wanted to do something different i actually do change the tv because i felt like that tv is a bit too small so i do end up using a bigger tv and then you'll see like with the coffee tables i put two coffee tables the one i sized down and just like put it a bit off center it's, it's something i do quite a lot and i've also seen a lot of other simmers do it but it just creates a nice vibe i think so I also put the dining table here by the living room side and this is now the art studio upstairs so it also has like a little balcony I think in total there's three easels in this house so I mean maybe she wants to make a painting and then keep it there for a while while she does her other painting or something like that or she can have her friends over and they can all paint together or you get the vibe and then I also put like bookshelves in this room so this room is also kind of like a book reading area so basically it's the hobbies area if you want to give it like a label so now i'm just placing like all the clutter i want to use in this as you can see the what used to be a bathroom is now like a storage room I, I just put a bunch of junk in there and then i 
put just put a table where I can put some stuff, you know, some clutter, like boxes of stuff. So I also put these benches in the middle of the room. You know, you need some seating area in the room where she can sit and read a book or maybe have friends over and chat with her while she's painting. They could be sitting there posing for a portrait or, or something, you know, you get the vibe. And then I just decorate the walls a bit with some wall art. Maybe she painted that one. We can pretend she painted it. And then I thought about putting these stars on the walls just to, you know, look creative. And this vase with these yellow flowers is so beautiful. I thought it's perfect for our art room. And then just a pile of pillows, a few pot plants, and that is about it. And then this general area upstairs, like the landing space, I just put some plants in like a couch. Because, I mean, it's a very small space. You're not really going to use this space. You kind of just walk through it. So, yeah, that is what I did there. And I decided to put the same couch on the balcony upstairs. So now we head on to the outside, the yard. For the yard, I wanted to give her a nice swimming pool. So I decided to put the pool here by the side of the yard and then I used the platform which will be like where the lounging chairs are and then it will also have like a little roof thing over it so you guys will see which one I use. I don't know what it is called but I think it's pretty cool and I thought about doing like a fountain or something but then I do decide like nah <laughs> let's take it away but I do use this waterfall feature so there's like water flowing into the pool it's kind of like a waterfall pool vibe. I think it's really pretty. And then behind it, I just put a bunch of plants to like give some privacy to that area. I also do put a wall. There we go. As you can see, I put the wall. So it's just to like give privacy, you know. Then in the front, I also just put a few plants just to complete the look of this house. So I wanted to make it a, you know, like modern, so I put this gravel terrain paint. I don't know, it's like gravel, stone, whatever you want to call it. And I use these stones to create a path and then put some plants. As you can see, that's the roof thing I was talking about. For the, I think it fits so pretty in this house. I've never used that piece before. So I was actually happy to use that piece for the first time. And then of course we need a barbecue area. So this is just like a little area where she can have a barbecue. And then some more plants on this little porch. And also for the front porch, I did a little something. Nothing too crazy. And yeah, that's basically that part. And then we continue further in the house. I used this fireplace. And I also gave her a activity table. So she can like build a puzzle or whatever. I think she would actually build puzzles. And then frame it and put it on the walls. I think that would be a great idea. So now I'm just laying out all the clutter. For this area of the house i really love these windows i used because it's a great place to put some extra clutter so i put like all those board games and puzzle boxes near the activity table and then just some random pieces in the rest of the windows and a diary on the table a drink tray and i really love these nifty knitting little animals it's quite cute Oh my goodness, what are these cats doing? <laughs> Jeez. They got the zoomies or something. And then, yeah, the chase below the TV. I think it's quite pretty cool. And yeah, so I decided for the giraffe um, sculpture above the fireplace to make it red, you know, like make it a color completely different, not used in the room. That's like more to show off her goofball side. And then these shelves with the suitcases is so pretty. I really love using them in my builds. And then some plants. I have to plant up the place because, I mean, it's it's what you gotta do. So plants to fill up the space. It makes it really pretty. Then I use these like kitty floor lamps all around the house once again. So goofball side <laughs> that wanted these lamps. So I just put some lighting all across the house. And then I put these couches in the corner, but then I realized that I haven't placed the door for the bedroom downstairs yet. So I do have to move it, otherwise there is no access to the bedroom, silly me. But the bathroom access will be then from the bedroom side. So yeah, now we get to the bedroom. I decided I wanted to put a huge platform in the middle of the room where her bed is going to be on. And then the sides will be for whatever else is in the bedroom, so... I think it looks really pretty though. 
that gave us some high school years dressers and then I'm also gonna fill it with a bunch of clutter. The mirror comes from deco to the max kit. I put a couch for her and also this radio from the party essentials kit. I think it fits the vibe of this room really well. And then another closet because let's say she has a lot of clothing and stuff. And then he has a desk and I gave her a streaming computer from high school years because I felt that could speak to her business savvy side. I don't know, maybe she could make videos and stuff like that to advertise whatever she's selling. So I tried a few different wall art pieces here in the bedroom but then I eventually decided to go with this cool flower looking one and then I also put a bunch of clutter and I really love the candles I put on the corners of the platform I think that is so pretty so yeah now I'm just placing like all the clutter around and change the color to fit the setting a bit better so this house has a lot of clutter but it's in such a way that it is still neat and then the last, I think it's the last piece of the house, is the bathroom. So I also gave the bathroom some funky stuff. Like you see the unicorn carpet by the bath and the colorful carpet by the toilet and the towels is, matches the unicorn carpet, which I thought is pretty cool. And then a little counter just to add more clutter in this bathroom. So as all my builds are playtested and functional, this one is too. It is available on my gallery if you guys would like to download this build and yeah that's about it i'm just adding some final touches to this build so thank you guys so much for watching my video i really do appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what do you think of this renovation and also don't forget to leave a like and if you have not done so please subscribe to my channel it will mean so much to me i hope you guys have a wonderful day further poison out